curious about your intuition, about your spirit guides, angels, but every time you go to connect, all of a sudden you get afraid. In your mind rolls around like a little rotisserie chicken on a spit. Every worst case scenario, what if you invite in a bad entity? What if your intuition is wrong? What if you're put into danger? What if everything goes out of control? Well, this is part of our little protective ego intellect that gets really afraid of our intuitive guidance. So in this video, I am going to share with you and dispel some misconceptions. If you're somebody that's a little toe in the water, but sometimes gets afraid of your guidance. And I'm going to tell you the worst thing that will happen, the worst thing that will happen if you listen to your intuition is nothing. <laughs> Nothing, because intuition at the base is truth. It's truth. It's vibe. It's listening to vibration, listening to energy, listening to the energy that is your spirit, your unique fingerprint, the the manifestation of the divine in a physical form. And when we use our intuition, the voice of our spirit, it will always point us to our highest good because it acknowledges, honors, and expresses our our authentic self. And it's not a mandate. It will never force you to do anything. It will always give you choice. So even first and foremost, let's just start here. Opening up to your intuitive guidance, listening to your intuition, you still have choice. You still have choice. You could decide whether or not you want to follow it. And guess what? The other beautiful thing about your spirit is it does not work on, and your guides, your angels, it does not work with earth realm rules. So even if you choose not to listen, getting crystal clear guidance, nobody's going to be mad at you. Nothing's going to happen. And we be disappointed in you. Nobody's going to go away. That's our very human parts. So I'm going to share with you some other tools, tips, ways, and how to just quiet and calm and comfort that part that might be resistant to something that's new so that you can start to access this beautiful wellspring of support of connection, of clarity, of confidence, of the gift that is you. So before I go any further, hi, I'm Sonia. I'm a fourth generation intuitive and I teach you how to plug back into your innate divine self. If you are new, hi, we're so happy you're here. If you're returning, I feel like you should have a code word or something. I'm gonna come up with it. All right, for my returning, you're, well, we'll see. We'll see what the intuition the spirit says, but welcome back. I'm so excited because also if you are new, if you are not new, if you're really wanting to develop a relationship with your intuition, simplify and amplify your life, your power, your purpose, your connection, then come to my live masterclass, the fastest way to uncomplicate your life. It's going to be April 24th. I'm so excited. I believe it's at 6.30. It's 20 bucks. You cannot miss it. I mean, honestly, it is full of tools, ways, grounded, practical things that can really revolutionize and change your life. Ask questions, build community, and more. So go to the description box below. Check out these different links. Come. I would love, love, love more than anything to connect with you. So yes. All right. Enough of the housekeeping. Let's talk about fear right? Fear. It's okay to be afraid. It is okay to be afraid. We often fear what we don't know. And what I also know to be true is that you came in as an intuitive being. We all are intuitive. It's natural. Whales have like radar, you know, they have their sonar, beep, beep, like the, everything. The ocean is frequency. Everything is frequency. You are a vibrational being. So intuition isn't about getting something that's outside of ourselves. It's not about opening ourselves to something that's out here. It's actually just connecting here, like connecting to our heart, to our gut, to our own essence, to a different vibration, to that same vibrational tuning radar. So it's not foreign. And actually how I think about it is it's a remembering. I, the work that I do of how I think of it myself as a teacher is, I'm giving you language and a framework and tools, but what we're really doing is excavating this gift that you came in with. This is not new. 
this is not something that is brand new. I, I just got a lot of practice. So let's help connect you and replug you back into you. That is really how I see the nature of my work. And so when we think about it that way, it's, it's not that we're inviting in something different. We're recovering an essential part of ourselves. And you know, I, so there's first, there's, there's fear. It can be a lot of fear. Like I said, it's not a bad thing. Fear comes from a lot of different places. The ego intellect also gets really afraid of change because change is uncomfortable. And you know, there's, I, I know for me, like I have a Taurus rising, I'm, I've learned to be, befriend change because in reality things are changing all the time. But my little bark and dog pee when change comes up, it's like, uh, uh, oh, Lord, no. <laughs> uh, but when we think about, you know, sort of our ego intellect and whether it's listening to our intuition as support for our human parts, that can be a change. Sometimes we're afraid that our intuition is going to give us guidance that has us change and grow. Oftentimes it does because it points out what's not working, points out what is true. Um, and also we're in that fear of change. Often where it comes from is we're fear of being disconnected from the people we love, fear of not being or feeling safe. And, you know, it wants to keep everything the same. Like if I just keep everything the same, then I can be in control. So if we start to invite and change, and instead of saying, oh, I'm going to imagine what the change is totally, I'm just going to be curious of what new exciting things might come in. I wonder, I am open. And when we can start to have it be instead of a giant change, but maybe just little things that can make our life feel better, that will be support, that will create a better, more balanced, centered life, then change doesn't have to be so scary. And also look at your life. Imagine if you could just look at our lives, look at our lived experiences and see how many changes we've already gone through and not only survived, but gotten better, stronger, more resilient. Oh, when with our ego intellect, change brings in fear and fear is just an emotion that's telling you what something that you value, what's important to you. So if you feel really afraid of, well, as change, ask yourself, ask your intuition, just be, what am I afraid of? And just pause. What am I afraid that I will lose? What am I afraid I will sacrifice? And a good practice we can do is just even start to voice that out loud. You know, often it's not, the one thing my mom always told me is it's not fear that's stopping you. It's hiding fear. And the ego that can be afraid of our guidance, it's okay. We don't have to shame it. Let's just start to name it and say, is that true? Is that true? And oftentimes our like imagination has gotten hijacked and it's not. Another way that we can often really get blocked is, and where we get really fearful is that there's been a lot of like religious training that, you know, whether if you open yourself up to oracle cards or your guides or your angels, or you're going to invite in something bad. And in my world, in my training, I feel that that is often just could be a really big scare tactic that some sort of end of thing is going to come in to take over your life. I'm like, that feels more like a Hollywood movie than anything that really is guidance because guidance and your spirit guides, your intuition, it's subtle. It is subtle. So if you're not paying attention, if you're not, you're going to miss it. So I feel like often the worst thing that'll happen is you're not going to listen at all. And really, probably that poltergeist is ruining your life it is <laughs> the ego intellect who is very fearful and scared and in control. You can feel it. It's different. Oh, and just when connecting, you can just have a bring me to what's in my highest good. I am in clear, connected energy. I am protected. And that alone helps to center us in our spirit and in ourselves. You know, another thing of what we can often get really afraid of is that if we get our guidance, that it's a mandate. It's not. The beautiful thing is you always have choice, always have choice. So when you're afraid of listening to your intuition, if you're afraid of connecting, if you are fearful, instead of trying to figure it out, instead of trying to fight it, instead of trying to justify why, recognize that that fear is 
a part of yourself that needs some reassurance, some kindness, some compassion, some curiosity, and those are all things that our spirit can give us. So we can lean in and say, wow, my little human ego intellect parts to that there's a part of me that's afraid. You know, that's okay. It's okay to be afraid. I'm here and I can sit with you. And just what are you afraid of? And just starting to bring some dialogue, some conversation, some self-love, some softness. What I have found is when we start to acknowledge and it's not feed into the story, but just even sometimes get it out of our bodies that that fear gets a lot quieter. And I will just tell you, your intuition is not going to scare you because it always feels good because it will tell you what is true. And often it's like we're leaving, even for myself. I feel like often why I get afraid of, because I just don't want to actually hear my intu- my intuition because <laughs> I already know. You know, I think about uh, the times where I have been, I don't want to say afraid, but where I've not wanted to listen, where I've just had that resistance. And, you know, what I find, and it's because it's changed. I can think of even one of the last time, a really strong time when that comes to mind is when I was with an ex many years ago. And it was a emotionally abusive relationship. Yay, self-love, fourth growth. I mean, it was just, we were not a match. We were just not a match. And my ego intellect really felt that if I worked hard enough, that if I tried enough, if I was loving enough, then things would change. And I did not want to hear my intuition that was like, break up. This is not for you. My ego intellect was so afraid. I Stories, I'll never be loved again. I'm going to be alone forever. I, this is always so much work. I'm the issue. All this stuff, all of this blah, blah, blah. That was way scarier that never happened. And my intuition that was a grounded break up that then triggered my ego to be like, no, 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 stay safe. And then I remember I find I was like, okay, all right, all right. I am miserable. <laughs> I've been ignoring my guidance for a long time. I am miserable. All right. And instantly, I already knew, break up, break up. And even just saying it out loud, because I remember even having this conversation with my mom. She's like, what is your intuition? What does your spirit say? And at first I was like, oh, thing. She's like, well. And I was like, my, in- my spirit is saying that it's time like, to break up. It's time to leave. And even as I finally vocalized it, that was rolling around, I knew it. It was relieving. It was like, oh oh my gosh, wow, I don't have to try so hard. Oop, chalk goes by. I have to try so hard to try and pretend that doesn't exist. And um, yeah, took me a little, a few little while even to break up after that. But it was different because I had rung a bell. I was like, then I had choice. Then I could choose to stay in the relationship or follow my intuition. And eventually I did. Now I'm in a way better place. So don't, so be kind to your fears and know that you have nothing to be afraid of. It's just new. It might just be unknown. You can lean into curiosity and play travel light. So if you're looking to develop your relationship with your intuition, whether you're brand new or super powerful, come to my workshop. We're gonna have so much fun, fast way to uncomplicate your life. I'm also going to start my spring semester of Psychic University, which starts May 8th. It's a five week long live led course. And if you come to the workshop, you get $100 off of Psychic University. So join me, join your classmates. I cannot wait, a community, all of it, because you have our magic. And I am sending you all my love and I will see you next week. Bye.